Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. I'm Jade and today I'm just going to show you guys my current makeup routine. This is not every day, but this is what I do when I want to put on makeup. So if you want to see the look, then stay tuned. Most importantly, skincare is very important. I only do like three things. It doesn't take for long for the skincare routine. For me, simple is key because when I start trying to do too much, then my skin goes crazy. But just simple, regular, regular, schmegular stuff. This is the eye gel by the Good Molecules. Next, I'm gonna go in with the brightening serum by the Good Molecules. Take a little bit, put that on. Rub it in. And this is straight out of the shower. Straight out of the shower. So, after that's all rubbed in, I go in with my last step, which is sunscreen. I wear sunscreen every day. You should too, very important. Um, and I put a little bit. This is the Black Girl Sunscreen. Really good. So I rub that in. Real nice. Rub that in real nice. And then, before... I let that settle in for just a little bit, but I do put on a lip balm. And this one is my favorite. This is from Bath and Body Works. If you know about it, then you know about it. Really minty, very shiny, and yeah, it's just my favorite lip gloss. It has been for years. And I just put that on everywhere. And now we're ready to start the makeup. Okay, first things first is primer. This is the primer that I've been using and loving. I have three more tubes of this. If you haven't tried it, go get your hands on it. Um, for reference, I have combination skin. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. I used to didn't use primer, but something in my head was telling me go try it so i tried it and can't live without it every time like absolutely snatches my makeup routine absolutely so i rub it in at first and then once it gets a little bit more tacky i pat it in just like that real cool real nice go get you some if you haven't tried it i heard it's a dupe for milk hydro grip but i never tried hydro grip so i can't compare it but she's good she's great next we're doing concealer this is fenty pro filter concealer um in 390 so I take this here, here, same on the other side, and then on the eyelids. And since this is so orange, it's gonna cancel out any darkness that I have. So after I take this, I take Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Butterscotch, and this is gonna be my brightening shade on camera it doesn't really like you could see the difference but it doesn't like but um it's different i promise it's different <laughs> now since we're going for a more full coverage look like i'm taking pictures i'm going to use foundation and this is in the shade 420 this is fenty um 
most days if I'm just doing something really quick, really easy, I don't use foundation, but we're gonna use foundation today. We're gonna do a pump and a half. I need to get a new one, but like I said, I only use foundation when I wanna take pictures and I want it to look really flawless. But other than that, I don't really use the foundation. And I only put it around the perimeter of my face on the outskirts. So yeah, put that in. Like so. And yeah. Blended like that. Now we're going in for a crucial step. I love my under eyes to look seamless, flawless, all of that. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use We're gonna use a brush. Mm hmm A brush to blend out our concealer. I used to be a beauty blender girl, but you know, the brush doesn't pick up as much product for me and it stays exactly where I want it to stay. So as of right now, I'm using a brush. So we just blend that out real nice, real smooth. And then we go in with the under eye. Start from the inner corner. And I drag it down just a tad, but nothing crazy. Not like um, our triangle, you know? What we used to do, nothing like that. But we're gonna take it and go up like this, just to give like the illusion of a more lifted face. And like that. That's how I like it. Now we're gonna do the other eye. The other eye. I think a lot of people forget that makeup is subject ugh, subjective. You don't have to do makeup a certain way. You find a way that works for you and you stick to that, you know? So it's okay to try different techniques. It's okay if one technique doesn't work for you. It's okay, you know, makeup doesn't have any rules. Neither does fashion, but right now it's a makeup video, so. Now we're gonna take this other Real Techniques brush and we're gonna blend it out. Make everything look seamless so we don't know where it starts and where it ends, right? Good. And yeah. Whatever is left on my brush, I just fill it within my T-zone here, here. Like so. We need it to look flawless, darling. Flawless. Okay, now, after that, this technique, I think it's by um, a makeup artist named Spencer. You're gonna set your under eye with a powder. So this is Fit Me Powder in 330 Toffee and I'm using a powder puff, dip it in there, take the puff directly under the eye. And look how seamless, are you kidding me? Undetectable, undetectable. Und <laughs> Come on, this technique eats, okay? Look crazy crazy it looks so flawless 
and I used to have problems with my under eyes creasing but with the primer and this technique I'm good I'm good to go and like this is gonna last me all night until I take the makeup remover and swipe it off it's gonna last me all night guarantee guarantee you know why because ever, ever since I started using that, this primer and this technique, I can't go back. Can't go back. So I just went ahead and put that over my eyelids for a good base. And this is what we're looking like. Real smooth. Real nice. So I'm going to take the Huda Beauty face powder and banana bread and dust off the excess if you're doing somebody's makeup don't blow on it <laughs> but it's just me i just do my makeup i don't care um yeah mm -hmm. do like this and we're just gonna set it under there and just leave it under there don't do too much don't do too much <laughs> Just a little bit. Okay, so after that, it's bronzer time. Now, right now, since it's like fall, winter, I'm not really a blush girl. Mm -mm. I do blush when it's like summer, springtime. But right now, I'm not really a blush girl. I'm all about the contour. Give me that, give me that. So, taking this black radiance palette and i'm taking the middle shade and dust it off and go around the perimeter go around the perimeter and it's just like painting trying to make a flawless seamless blend i'm gonna take it and I go like this right on that cheekbone or a little bit higher doesn't matter now if I want to look really chiseled like real like like snatched I'm gonna take it and go right you see that right here right in those divots here and then make sure that I have a line there. So. Right in those divots, like that. And then connect it just And don't forget the neck. Do not forget the neck, please. <laughs> anything that's left over on my brush I'm just going to take it on my eye just for some color like that then I'm going to take this Real Techniques brush and this is what I'm going to use for my nose contour and I'm just going to make that motion like that and then same on this side like so and then when I get to the nose just do a little you know just a little bit so not too much then just blend it into my eyebrow like so And we are done with that. We're almost done. Not too much. This is everyday glam, soft glam. So now I'm gonna take this highlighter. Um, this is a Fenty Diamond Bomb in Cognac Candy. And it's real subtle, real cute. It's more, it has a heavier glitter in it, 
but you can't really tell. So, yeah, I just put that on my nose and then I take a little bit and do that on my eyes, like so. Like that. And then I take this Real Techniques brush and the Fenty Pro Filter Powder in 390 and take it. Make sure everything looks seamless around the mouth. Just so that there's no harsh lines. Take it and dust that off. Dust that off. Dust that off. Like so. Then go in with this NYX. This NYX eyebrow gel in the brow glue and go ahead and comb my hairs I don't really um fill anything in because I was blessed with thick brows so I don't really fill anything in but you know You see that? Just nice. That looks nice. Really nice. Okay. We are almost done. Almost done. So now I take my Morphe setting spray. I'm gonna spray it. Spray good. Mmm, that's refreshing. Take a little fan like this. Dust it off. Usually, I do not wear lashes. Um, I only wear lashes on like, if I wanna feel really cute or special occasions, but we're not doing lashes today. So, we're going to do L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And go to town on these lashes. If we locked in, ain't no switching up. Ain't no switching up. If we locked in, that's what I'm going to say on New Year's. If we locked in, ain't no switching up. <laughs> Don't switch up. Cool. <gasps> Perfect. Now for the last finishing touch, I'm going to use lip gloss. This is NYX Butter Gloss and Cinnamon Roll. They don't make it no more, y'all. I'm so sad. So sorry. Um, an alternative for that one is the Fenty Gloss and Mauve Wives. Very similar, but this one is a little bit more pink. But either way, it's, it's similar. It's similar. You know, you feel me? So we're going to put some of this on. I don't use no liner with this because this is my color, you know. And my top lip is darker than my bottom lip. So I just use that to my advantage. And like, you know, it kind of looks like I have liner on, but I don't have liner on. So that's that. 
Then I top it off with the Fenty Lip Gloss and Lemon Lava. Yeah, Lemon Lava. <laughs> it's a plumper, so if you don't like plumpers, don't get this. <laughs> but I do. So I put this on top just for some gold gloss. Mmm. And yeah, that's it. We're done. We're done. We're done so. We're done. The doobie are. Look, this how they, this how I feel when I when I take my silk press out. Like, ooh, nice and fresh. Like, ooh, butter. Like butter. <laughs> like butter.